reading from Ephesians chapter 2. You are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. This is the word of the Lord. King David, in his role as prophet, foresaw the resurrection of the Christ, that he was not abandoned to the grave, nor did his body see decay. Isaiah also wrote about the resurrection of Jesus, as did Job. Peter, James, and John, they witnessed the resurrection of Jesus, and they ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead, and they testified boldly to this truth. The church is built on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles, that is, people like King David, Isaiah, Job, Peter, James, and John. The church is built on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles with the resurrected Christ Jesus as the chief cornerstone. The church is built on the proclamation, on the prophetic and apostolic proclamation of Christ crucified and risen. He laid down his life for our sins. He rose on Easter and defeated death. He will soon appear in glory and renew all things, including you, his church. Behold, I make all things new again, the resurrected Jesus said in the book of Revelation. Christ crucified has risen from the dead. That's why his tomb is empty. That's what Easter is all about. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord's resurrection may by your grace confess in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.